This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, October 4th. I'm James Spann. All eyes are on Tropical Storm Karen. That promises to wet down most of the state Sunday. Let's take a look at some of the SkyCam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, around here, that's a look at our SkyCam coming from Jasper. The sky partly sunny, pretty warm. We've got temperatures up in the 80s. We'll check our Gulf Shores uh, sky cam at the Phoenix All Suites. That's some pretty rough surf. we got double red flags. The uh, beaches are closed. At least the water is closed. And uh, there's our sky cam at Dauphin Island. At the Dauphin Island Sea Lab, bit of sunshine there peeking through the clouds. Boy, what a map. We've got uh, that huge trough in the west that's advancing uh, east. We've got Tropical Storm Karen down in the Gulf, but around here we're in pretty good shape. That little upper ridge sitting on top of us, so we're in good shape today. And it's pretty warm. We've got mid-80s on the board. It's 84 at mid-afternoon for Birmingham, Anniston, and Gadsden. But hang on, much cooler air dropping in here next week. There's the uh, surface chart, and it's pretty interesting. The big mid-latitude low over Kansas and Nebraska is deeper than Tropical Storm Karen. Uh, the mid-latitude system... Uh, 1,004 millibars, Karen, 1,010 millibars. And, uh, of course, with that uh, mid-latitude system, we got a blizzard going on back in parts of the Dakotas, over into Wyoming, all the counties up there in red. Those are blizzard warnings. The counties in purple, those are winter storm warnings. And I thought that was a cool shot. That was uh, uh, some guy delivering the mail in Rapid City, South Dakota, in the middle of an early October blizzard. The mail is coming through, even in a blizzard. Uh, in terms of severe weather, uh, we've got uh, moderate risk of severe weather for the, the rest of this afternoon and tonight ahead of that big uh, system through parts of uh, Iowa. The moderate risk there, a slight risk surrounding that uh, that goes down to Oklahoma City and almost as far north as uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul. Then tomorrow, a risk of severe weather. Chicago, Milwaukee, Indianapolis, Paducah, Kentucky, almost down to Memphis, uh, but no risk here. And then on Sunday, day three, there's a slight risk from Louisville, Kentucky, up to uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh and Buffalo. And down here, just low in 5% severe weather possibilities. We just don't expect a, a big problem. There could be some thunder. And with a tropical system involved, you know, there'll be obviously some chance of maybe some rotation somewhere. But I just don't think it'll be a widespread problem. All right, let's take a look at Karen. This is a very sick-looking system. It's lopsided and has all kind of issues. It's things we talked about yesterday. Uh, number one, dry air is entering the system from the west. Number two, there's wind shear. You can see the convection is displaced east of the circulation center. And number three, it's moving over cooler SST, sea surface temperatures. So all of that means this will not strengthen. In fact, if anything, it'll probably weaken before the time it uh, reaches land. Here's the uh, track from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, no big changes. It's got it uh, coming up uh, across southeast Louisiana into the uh, coast of Alabama. Here's a, a little higher res look at that coming off Google Earth. Uh, it comes through Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana tomorrow night and up toward uh, uh, you know, Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan uh, Sunday morning. And remember, that black line is the center of the circulation, but this is a broad kind of ill-defined tropical storm, so the impacts really don't correlate necessarily to the line. But the worst of the weather should be east and south of that line. Um uh, and then ultimately over into uh, Georgia, which is in agreement with the uh, previous uh, model output we've seen. In terms of the rain, this is uh, the QPF coming from uh, WPC, and uh, they've got amounts of about three inches, really four on the immediate coast, three inches up to Mobile. And then for Alabama, they've got an inch and a half basically up to U.S. Highway 80. That's uh, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery. And up this way, the amounts would be about one inch uh, and most of this will be on Sunday, and I, I think that's pretty close to being correct, although it's very hard to draw these type maps with an ill-defined tropical system because a lot of times you don't exactly know where the axis of heavier rain will fall. We'll look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the Global Forecast System, valid at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Big trough off to the west, and uh, down below that, you can see it looks like it should be a quiet Saturday. Uh, which bodes well for the college football games. Uh, don't think we'll have any issues. Of course, you can see the big uh, deep mid-latitude low. It's over South Dakota. Karen down to the south. We'll go to the high-res NAM, 1 o'clock tomorrow. Most of the state dry. Uh, and again, I, the chance of rain, not zero. You know, somebody somewhere might catch a shower, but odds are you won't get wet during the day. Uh, for the Alabama homecoming game at Bryant-Denny Stadium, odds of a shower very small. 
Game kicks off at 11:21 there. This is Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and that's great news for the Auburn Ole Miss game. Chance of rain, very small. The chance of rain, not zero, but it sure looks like the game will be dry with temperatures in the 70s. This is Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. The big, big rains with uh, Karen still down to the south, working their way north. And then by 7 o'clock, uh, much of the state is getting some good rain with a cold front coming in and uh, Karen coming in from the south. So clearly Sunday will be the wettest day. Will it rain all day? No, it won't. Uh, but again, uh, it's just impossible to tell you start, stop times. Just be aware it's going to be a rainy day Sunday. Um, all right, this is Monday of next week. Everything's out of here. We start to cool down nicely. Humidity values drop. Tuesday should be a beautiful day. I think a lot of folks will start the day down in the upper 40s. Highs only in the 70s. Just gorgeous. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, great fall weather. A week from today, another big trough in the west. Another big storm winding up. Our friends in Wyoming are going to think, goodness, what's the winter going to be like? It looks like they'll be buried by another big snowstorm maybe uh, at the end of next week. Although the air doesn't look as cold this time, but still for the high elevations, no doubt that'll be snow back in the cold sector. But still, we're dry. So all next week, quiet, dry, beautiful October weather. We'll check the end of the forecast, October the 20th. Got ridging here, so the weather not really cold, uh, but that would be dry, nice and quiet if that's correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates, the videos tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.